about to fall. Everything that's happened to me has made me stronger. To catch and hold you. Probably pushed him harder as a student than anyone. You know. Make sure if someone don't address you by Dr. Richard White, don't speak to him. The music definitely saved my life. If my brother can come through all this and make it, I know I can. You know, it costs billions of dollars to get to the moon. It's not about landing on the moon. It's about doing the impossible. There are a lot of Richard Whites in Baltimore. They see it and see where he came from, and he made out fine. They're going to want to do the same thing. My subconscious, I am black, you're not. What to do, I don't know. What to say, there is no right answer. How to move, the prey is already in sight. Is it safe to walk in my own neighborhood at your own risk? Can I go for a run? Depends on who's watching. Can I go for a walk? Better not look like running. Can I walk to the store and purchase snacks and a hoodie? Better take it off. Can I sit in my own backyard? Not if you haven't informed the neighbors. Can I sit in my own house? Not without watching the front door. If pulled over, can I show my license? Sadly, the answer is no. It's a setup. Can I walk to work with my instrument on my back? Better hope no robberies have been reported. Without being killed, without being harassed, without being jailed, why do I have to ask these questions? Prepare myself mentally and make provisions for things that are just as common as blinking in a country that is supposed to be my own. Feeling concerned, tired, angry, unprotected, and unsure of what to do if any of the above situations should find their way in my path in an unjustified manner. What I want most is equality. And to echo the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., I still have a dream, a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. One day, this nation will rise up and live up to its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Justice, to me, is a matter of right and wrong. Everyone will encounter many forks in the road doing this journey called life. This way, that way, to be or not to be is the question. To be fair and morally correct is the path we should all have locked in our human GPS system as our current and final destination. The most amazing phenomenon about life is that we all start living and dying the instant we're born. You can't have one without the other. I guess the most important thing is to offer the world your best. Here today and gone tomorrow, you want to be able to say one thing is for sure. I was definitely the best at being me and there will never be anyone exactly like me. In other words, living stops, but life continues, dead or alive. Just make sure that while you're living, you give the world your best and you will be remembered for the life that you created even though living can come to an end. I think Sir Winston Churchill said it best. 
We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we give. So give your best to the world and immortality will be yours, making the world a better place for all. Sometimes in life, we all need to make the decision to be our own hero. Steve Jobs, the famous Apple founder, put it this way, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most importantly, have the courage to follow your own heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. When asked by a CBS Evening News reporter, after playing all over the world, Richard, recording and making history, what do you think your greatest accomplishment is? I weepingly replied, my job as a teacher and mentor. Because every day I get to go to work and make a difference in the kid's life because that is what someone did for me. And now it's time to pay it forward. We live in a country that is self-centered. We are blind by the extended need to help or fully understand the struggle of others. Until your company goes bankrupt, fires an individual, someone you know gets sick, a natural disaster takes all that you own, a robbery occurs, identity theft, injustice, divorce, death, or any kind of devastating event, most of us don't care enough to take action. In other words, if it's not in your backyard, it's not your problem. One thing I know for sure, there is nothing new under the sun. And what goes around comes around. So no one is immune to needing one another to care. Somehow we are all satisfied with a tweet, an Instagram, or a Facebook message that simply acknowledges that something happened. And although we may feel bad, it goes scrolling away down the computer screen and then out of sight, out of mind. Once upon a time, when a guest visits your house, it was a big, big deal. Walking to the store to get ice cream. Oh, the landline ringing. Oh, let's not forget about a personal letter in the mail. I think we called it pen pal. We are forgetting what it means to be human. Much like the computer, we're becoming robots, void of physical action, conversation, emotions, extended compassion, and most of all, humanistic growth. We were put on this earth to live and work together. The ability to care beyond our own circle is vital because a closed circle means that when it's your turn for needing help, others will not be able to enter. This message is not so much to criticize, but to wake up our conscience, compassion, and concerns for everyone's well-being in an effort to be better for betterment of all. There are thousands of problems in the world. It is my belief that 99% of them can be eradicated if we were just kind to one another. So my ultimate request for each of us is to embrace the act of kindness and strive for excellence in every field of human endeavor. So I'm asking you with all that you have and all that you are, join me in being kind to ensure justice, equality, and liberty for all. Be kind. Thank you.